In this video, I want to show you how you can use field parameter in Power BI. For example, if you have a target, but you want to fill in the target yourself and see how that would affect your numbers. It gives you some flexibility to play around with your data and see what's going on. So I'm going to show you how you can create a field parameter and also how you can implement it in a visual like the one that I'm showing you at this moment. And the visual that we are looking at is actually the sales target, if it's hit or not. And the sales target, we can fill in ourselves. So in this case, we can see in which months did we hit our sales target. It is March, May, August, November. And now I will increase the sales target and we see it's just March, August and November. If we further increase, we see it's only August, November. But maybe if we say our target is less well then we would hit the target much more often and like i said this gives you some flexibility to play around with your data and you can use this for all kinds of stuff for like budget targets everywhere because you create a field parameter and you can use that in all your DAX measures so here we are in power bi and you see this is my report with the example i just showed you and you see it's still highly flexible and the target adjusts according to my slicer here. So how do we get that? To create a field parameter, we go in Power BI, we go to modeling and there you have new parameter. And if we go to new parameter, we can say we want it based on fields or a numeric range. And numeric range is what we want in our example. So I click on numeric range and here we can again choose. So if you clicked on the wrong one, you can say, oh, I want the other one and you can give it a name. So I could call it target. And then it asks, what is the data type? Whole number, decimal number or fixed decimal number. I say fixed decimal number and we need to give a minimum and a maximum and the maximum let's say is for us 8,000. That would be amazing sales. And the increment is one, which means that our numeric range parameter will go from zero to 8,000 in steps of one. You could also say in steps of zero 0.5. So think about how much choices you want to give your end user here. And you can give a default value. So if nothing is selected, what should it be? Let's make that 4,000 in our example. And now we get the option, do you want to add a slicer to this page? And that's super handy because then Power BI already provides you with the slicer, the filter visual that we can use. And I say, yes, let's do that. And then I click create. And now Power BI creates this visual for us. And if you look at my example, it looks slightly different. What did I do different? Well, some formatting like the border, rounded corners, a title, a subtitle, and let's put in some numbers here. And you can see now I have this fixed decimal number. So what I first do is I go to my new table and we call it target. And there we see that we now have the parameter where we say we want this to be from zero to 8,000. And here we have the actual DAX measure that is our parameter. So if we click on that and I make this a KPI and if I clear the selection, this is 4,000. You may remember we said the default value of this is 4,000. So even if nothing is selected in the slicer, this will be 4,000. Something that I change is I click on the target value and I say I want this to have zero number of decimal places. It is already currency. This is euro, which makes sense because I'm in the Netherlands. And now we make sure that this value is always like this. Now we already see if I'm moving my slicer, this value also changes. So if I make this a bar chart and I move this, you can see that it moves. Now you have that value, but of course, or at least I want this to interact with my visual. So for example, here you can see that it moves and it influences the information that you can see. Now, how does it work? This visual, how you create that, I share in another video and I will put somewhere here a button that leads you to the video and I will make sure it's also in the description. This is actually, if we go there, it's a line and stacked column chart where I have two values. One is below target and one is above target. And together this creates this visual and this line is the target line. So if you want to know how this specific visual works, make sure to check out that video. I will show you a well, slightly different version. I will use a line and cluster column chart 
we have here. I will put in the month's name short on the X axis and I will put in sales of this year. And I want to put in the target that we just created. So I search for my field parameter table and I go to target value and I add that. And now you see this is not the prettiest visual, but if we move the target, you see it also moves in that visual. What I now want to do is I go to the format pane, I go to columns and I say layout, overlap, no space between series and I make this target a little lower and now we see this is our target value in front and this is our sales value but this of course is a little bit confusing because if the sales value is lower than the target value it's invisible so I say flip overlap and now I also put the target value in the line axis it's here which makes it really easy to see if we hit the target or not and we could also say we want to remove that and only have that line there to show us if we hit the target or not and then we can play around with this and see if the target was hit or not or you could say because we have here a column and a line chart we go to our column we go to conditional formatting and if you go there, you can create a rule or you can base it on a gradient or on a field value. And what I want to do is I create a DAX measure, new measure, and I call it target hit and it's simple DAX measure. And it's if the sales of this year is lower than the target value, then I want it to be zero and otherwise I want it to be one. And in this case, that would mean that we get a zero or a one back. But what I want to do is I want to use a hex code, a color code and say, if the target was hit, I want this to be a little bit greenish. And if the target was not hit, I don't want it to be zero, but this is grayish. And now we have this target hit measure. And if we now, instead of color, we go to the conditional formatting and we use field value and we search for that one. And this, I have this in my target table, it's called target hit. And I say, okay, now you see that according to if we hit the target, yes or no, the color changes. And now if we play with our target, we can see that it actually really easily shows us when we hit our target, yes or no. So this is a really easy way using field parameter numeric range to actually create your own targets and see what happens. And these parameters you can just use in other DAX measures and incorporate them in your measures. So now we use this for an if then else statement to use conditions formatting but you could also use this to say oh how would this look if our sales was 1000 2000 more then you would use a DAX measure to see the sales and add the value that you fill in here so this is a really easy way to fill in your own information and test some things in power bi and something that i didn't show you in the beginning is because you see we get a new table here the target table if you go to the table view you will actually see that table in our case we said it should be from zero to eight thousand and you you can actually see that it goes from zero to 8,000 in steps of one. So that's exactly what we configured at the beginning. So you go to report, modeling, new parameter, numeric range, and you fill in all the information you want. And then you can just play around with your data in Power BI.